This is Cyanogenod version 10.1 running on a Samsung Galaxy Player 5.0. This device originally came with Android version 2.3.5 gingerbread with Samsung's TouchWiz interface and I have since upgraded that to Cyanogenod 10.1 which is Android version 4.2.2. So let me go ahead and boot it up. Now I have changed the boot logo to the default Samsung one. So you'll see that in a second. As you can see there, it just did the boot animation. This is the same boot animation it came with on stock firmware. It takes quite a bit to quite a bit of time to boot, but that's no big deal. Okay, as you can see, it has booted. So once little Wi-Fi icon up there turns blue. I'm going to unlock it. Okay, there we go. Let's unlock it. So as you can see, it is running the stock Cyanogen Mod Trebuchet or Trebuchet launcher. I don't know how you pronounce it. But as you can see, it is very smooth. A nice animation. This is the first successful port of the um, 3.0 kernel to this device, so that helps a lot with the animations. They are very, very smooth, as you can see. It scrolls perfectly. Let's go to About Phone. You can see kernel version 3.0.73. Oh, and by the way, I will put a link to this ROM in the description of this video. So if you have a Samsung Galaxy Player 5.0, you can go ahead and download this ROM. So, as you can see, Android version 4.2.2. If you rapidly tap on it, you get the little jelly bean Easter egg. Let's see. And overall, this device, oh, it also has, I meant to show you this, whoops, it also has, with this kernel, a 1.2 gigahertz overclock, as you can see I have it enabled there. I found the best CPU governor is on demand, so I use that. Basically what happens, what that does is whenever you touch the screen, it'll bring the CPU frequency all the way up to 1.2 gigahertz, or whatever your maximum CPU frequency is set at. Um, so yeah, set on boot just makes the overclock stick when you reboot the system. So overall, it runs very smoothly, as you can see, YouTube, the animation, it's very smooth on this. It was not on gingerbread. Let's go back. A few things I've added to this ROM are, from one, the Samsung Task Manager, as you can see there. As you can see, this is the default Task Manager that came with the stock gingerbread ROM. And yeah, overall this is a very, very good improvement over gingerbread. And there's actually only one problem with this ROM, and that is the rear-facing camera. I'll show you what that does now. 
That's on the front facing camera, so let's turn that around. Okay, so when you have the camera open, you can see it does show the preview, so you can use this for, say, a video conferencing or something. But when you take a picture, it'll just freeze the entire app. So you can't, like, the back button does nothing. You just have to press the home button and then end it in the recent apps list. But it does not save the picture. So the back camera is unusable, but the front camera is. You can take a picture and it will work perfectly to demonstrate. You can see it's just in the ceiling. As you can see, it takes it perfectly. So, let me show you the gaming performance of this device using popular game Temple Run. So as you can see, there's pretty much no lag. Whoops, I just failed. Whatever. So, that is CyanogenMod version 10.1 running on the Samsung Galaxy Player 5.0. Hope you enjoyed this video.